This is the ultimate guide on how to juggle a soccer ball. In this video, I'll show you proper juggling technique, how to start if you're a total beginner juggling with your head, how to improve your weak foot, advanced soccer juggling methods, and much more. Because what you wanna do is create backspin on the ball so it comes towards you, okay? If you don't have backspin, it's gonna go out here, or if you have side spin, it's gonna go out here. Okay, so in order to create backspin on the ball, see that spin on the ball? Backspin on the ball. I'm hitting the ball with curled toes, like this, curled toes, on the bottom of the ball, like cupping the ball almost, like here, boom. Okay, and what that does is it creates backspin on the ball. Okay, so I'm trying to get that backspin every time. And just watch your ball, does it have backspin? Does it have backspin? Does it, does it have backspin? Okay, and you wanna get into that nice rhythm. So a lot of us out there, we're hitting it, and then we're reacting. You gotta anticipate where the ball is gonna be. And it's all about that smooth rhythm. Right, left, right, left, right, left. You wanna anticipate that that ball is coming from your left foot to your right foot, to your left foot, to your right foot. If you're kicking the ball, then you're reacting. You're never gonna have that smooth rhythm that will allow you to juggle to 1,000, 5,000, wherever you want to go. So think about that rhythm, right, left, right, left. As you can see, I'm hitting the far side underneath the ball, but on the far side of the ball, creating backspin. Now, not too much backspin that the ball is coming into my knees, but enough backspin that the ball is staying on the spot. And here we're gonna go into super slow motion. If you're really struggling, just look at this a couple of times. It's really gonna help you. Look exactly where I'm hitting the ball, underneath, but on the far side of the ball, creating good backspin. Look at my toes, slightly curled, not a crazy curl, and I'm hitting almost on the tip of my laces, on my big toe, creating that good backspin. All right, but this is basic juggling technique, and this is what I want you to do, left, right, right, left, Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Switching feet every time. Good backspin on the wall. Nice, relaxed upper body, curled toes, bent knees. Good rhythm. Anticipate where the ball is going to go. Don't react. And if the ball does go somewhere crazy, you just get there. Get there quick. Do not give up on it. Okay, try to keep it up. Use different parts of your body if you have to. Keep that ball up. Do not give up on it. Okay. But to start, if you're a real beginner and you want to get that backspin, all you might want to do is start with a kick and a catch, okay? Kick and a catch. Or drop it to your foot, kick and catch. Do this a hundred times. Getting backspin every time. Backspin, trying to get that nice natural kick, backspin, kick with backspin. Okay, nice natural, flowing, kicking leg. I'm not like this. Kick, 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 okay? So you might want to start like that, a hundred with your right, 100, with your left, backspin on the wall. If that's easy enough, then you can move to right, left, catch, left, right, catch, right, left, catch, left, right, catch. Getting that rhythm, getting that backspin on the t every time, and just getting these touches, okay? The more touches you get on the ball, the better. Look at my upper body, I'm just relaxed, I'm not tense, I'm not flexed, okay? I'm just nice and relaxed. Some kids are like this, okay? Just nice and relaxed, kicking the ball. If you're hitting the ball and it's not getting off your foot, if it's just dying down here, you're not hitting it hard enough. Hit it a bit harder. Personally, I think you want about knee height with your juggles, but if it's not coming high enough, you're not hitting it hard enough, especially on your weaker foot. If your weaker foot's like this, you're not hitting it hard enough. Lock your ankle more, curl your toes more. Try to get good backspin on the ball. Okay, if the ball's going too high, you're hitting it too hard. So soften that touch up a bit, nice and delicate. Let's talk about the technique because that's what probably feels different, right? You have one where you hit it and it feels natural and then you go to use your other foot and it feels weird. You can't flex it in a certain way. You can't flex in the same way as your other foot. And that is exactly true. It's because this foot, this ankle, these toes, they don't have the same flexibility, the same strength. They don't have the same muscle memory. You've done this action on this foot, thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions, maybe not millions, but a lot more times than you have on this one. So obviously it's gonna feel different, but the more you do it, the more you focus on it, the more you think about it, the more natural it will become. If you're trying to hit it and it's not getting up high enough, you need to flex that foot harder. You need to put a little more force on it. You need to kick it 
a little harder, but focus on curling the toes. Flex foot, it's not weak, it's not limp like this. If I'm making contact like that, the ball's dying. So really focus on curling the toes, hitting under the ball, just like you would on your strong foot. Getting good backspin on the ball. And maybe just start like that with a bounce. Okay, trying to get good curl on the back of the ball. Then you need to start doing what you did originally on this foot, and that's getting multiple touches. Trying to keep it up as many times as you can. Okay, you can do big ones. You can do these little ones. You can do touches with different parts of the foot. Little bounce. But you need to give that foot more time. And I'm gonna guess if you flex it like this, like it hurts, like your foot starts to cramp. So you need to practice that skill. And if you can just practice a foot stall, try to get a nice pocket in there, curl the toes really, I'm really flexing the toes up towards my head, towards my knee. And I'm trying to keep it in that pocket right there. And I can feel the tension in my shin and in my ankle joint. And if you really have a weak foot, then that's probably gonna be really tough. But the more you practice this, the more strength you'll have in that foot. And that will transfer into your juggling skills. A lot of players will be trying these things and they can't do it, so they get frustrated. They'll blast the ball away or they get upset with themselves. They'll start being really negative. What you want to do instead of getting frustrated is just analyze what's going wrong. And for some reason, the ball always goes over here. I can get upset with myself. I can be pissed off. I can blast this ball over there. I can swear. I can say this is stupid. But that's not going to make me any better. Instead, I can analyze. Okay, I'm always hitting the ball too much on this side. That's why it's creating that spin. That's why it's always going there. So instead, I'm going to correct it. I'm going to try to come on this side of the ball and see what happens. Okay? So instead of getting frustrated, just take a deep breath, analyze what you're doing wrong, and then improve it and change it. Keep working, keep working, keep practicing, and I guarantee you're going to improve. Okay, a lot of people are trying to keep it up and it's getting away from them and they're wondering why. You're still on too much of an angle like this. Okay, you wanna go straight up into the sky in order to keep the ball moving like that. So with my forehead, straight up into the sky. And notice my body positioning. Okay, bent knees, a little bit of bounce. I'm not straight, I'm not stiff. Not like this. That's not gonna work for you. And also notice, I'm not hitting it too hard. Just a little bounce. Really, the ball is hitting me on the right spot. I'm giving it a little push. But the biggest thing is always, with everything, practice. Practice, but don't give up. If the ball goes over there, try to get there. Don't just let the ball go and give up on it, okay? You may have to chase that ball all the way around the field. But wherever it goes, try to stay in the middle. Most players will just do this for the first 10 years of their development, okay? If you can learn to use different parts of the foot, a little hacky sack style, okay? This is gonna develop good touch or different parts of the body, thighs, head, okay? But being a little more um, directional with your control. So sometimes it's here, sometimes it's up, okay? Always switching it up. And again, wherever the ball goes, you just adjust and you get to it, okay? So, once you uh, become comfortable with the basic juggling, left, right, with curled toes, good backspin, then you can move into that stuff, using the inside, using the outside, thighs, head, shoulder, whatever it is, okay? Also, you can do mini touches. So I used to have a coach that made us do this, and at the time, we all thought it was ridiculous, but it's fantastic for your touch. It develops great, delicate touch, okay? Especially both feet, especially your weaker foot, whatever that may be. And you can also do high touches, which are a lot tougher. Okay, so like a head height control. Ooh. And if you have a bad touch, you don't get frustrated. You just analyze. You come back and you try again. And once you do figure out juggling, it really is like riding a bike. I cannot juggle a ball for a month and pick up a ball and still be able to juggle to a thousand, no problem. You'll be able to do the same once you figure out this basic juggling technique.